So today I want to share a few thoughts from the story of Job. So um, at school yesterday we finished off the story of Joseph and today I did the story of Job. Um, so if you don't know the story of Job, Job was a man in the Bible who was very, very rich, but he also loved God. Um, and one day kind of everything went wrong in his life. All his possessions, like his animals, were all lost in one day and also all his children died as well. And yet in all of that, he still loved and trusted in God. And then he also got sick, but even then he still trusted in God. Um, but then at the end of the story, God gave him back like double what he'd had before. So all of his animals, he got back double. Then he got another 10 children, but also he had learned so much more about God. He had a closer relationship with God. So in that way, he had like kind of double as well. So um, it's a very helpful story, especially for anybody going through a hard time. And because often we have doubts and questions when we go through hard things and when we don't understand. Um, but I just have a few thoughts from the story of Job. And one is that like... All these things happened to Job because he did what was right, because he loved God and say, um, Satan was talking to God and God said, have you seen my servant Job, how he loves me and trusts in me? And um, Satan said, oh, it's only because of what you've done for him, because of all the good things you've given to him. If you take those things away, um, he will curse you. But um, so God allowed Satan to take things away from Job's life, but Job did still trust in God. Um, and then the same, Job, Job got sick as well, and he still trusted in God. Um, but anyway, the thought I had was everybody who walks with God, like Job did, will have some kind of loss. Because when God saves us, he saves us to serve him. So that means some kind of sacrifice or some kind of loss. And maybe some people do have actual losses like what Job did, like losing family members or, um, you know, like financial loss. But we all have loss in some way or another. Uh, maybe it's a loss of our time, maybe it's a loss of our space or our, like, maybe, um, you know, loss of our home and that we need to open our home and use it for other people. Or maybe it's a loss of our money or whatever it is, we will all have loss. But it is through loss that we gain. So through what Job lost, he gained so much more. He, and most importantly, he gained a more closer knowledge and relationship with God. And, um, you know, it's through, it's through the loss that we learn to trust in God. Because when we have everything going well, we don't really need to trust God so much. We so easily rely on the things that we have. But when they're suddenly all gone, then we really have to, that's when we really have to trust God. Um, and, you know, um, Job said, God has given and God has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But um, yeah, God gives us things, but then sometimes he takes him away or he wants us to use those things for him. And that can be hard because we tend to want to hang on to the things that God gives us, the nice things that God gives. But God wants us to use those things for him. And sometimes he does take away what he has given to us. But then that helps us to trust in him and to love him more than the things that he has given us. Um, but then the other day I had read a daily light reading and it was helpful to me because I was struggling to trust God in one area. Um, but this kind of goes along with the story of Job and it just shows the value in knowing God rather than so much the value of things. It's about trusting God as well. So it says, one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure with trouble. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Having food and clothing with these we shall be content. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food allotted to me, lest I be full and deny you and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body than clothing? When I sent you without money bag, knapsack and sandals, did you lack anything? So they said, nothing. Let your con conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Um, so yeah, that's about trusting in God to take care of us. And that is not the stuff that we have that is most important in life. It's about knowing God. Um, and so one thing that I've been challenged with is just trusting God, especially if we do have some kind of a loss, then that kind of we realize how much we trust in other things. Um, so yeah, we need to trust God to know what is best for us. We need to trust God to give us wisdom when we ask for wisdom to give us guidance when we pray for guidance, um, to provide for all our personal needs. Sometimes just to trust that God does know our needs and that he cares for us personally and that he will supply our needs, whatever our needs are. Um, we need to trust in God to help us and so many more things. But um, yeah, I struggle to trust God sometimes and I have found it helpful when I am struggling to trust God to just say out loud, to pray to him and say, I do trust you for whatever it is. I trust you to help me. I trust you to know what's best. I trust you to provide for me in this situation. Um, and there is a movie I watched once and it is called Trust and it is a modern day story based on the story of Job. Um, there are some things I don't like about it so I never like recommend it the first time I watched it but I always wanted to go back and watch it again because um, there was something about it I liked. It is Australian too so maybe that's part of it but um, I went back and watched it again when I was sick like a couple of months ago um, and there are two things that uh, kind of struck me with it. Well one is the devastation sin brings. So it's a story about a family and the wife is unfaithful to the husband and yeah, the same day he loses his job as well. So for him, it's like he's lost everything all in one day. Um, so it shows the devastation that sin brings. Like it just, in one way, kind of ruins. It causes so much hurt and so much damage. Um, but also it just made me really appreciate forgiveness. So like that lady, she tries to put things right. And yet the husband has so much trouble trying to forgive her and to I don't know, get over it or whatever. Um, and there's nothing she can do to make him forgive her because, yeah, he's so hurt. But it just made me appreciate that when we are, when we have sinned and when we go to God, he is forgiving. Like, there's just, it's just such a hopelessness if you can't be forgiven. Like, that lady couldn't do anything to make herself be forgiven by her husband. In the end, he did. But it just made me really appreciate that God is forgiving. And in the story of Joseph too, like, Joseph his brothers didn't deserve forgiveness, but Joseph was forgiving. And it's just it's so hopeless if there is no forgiveness. So um, that movie is called Trust, and I will link it down below. I don't like everything in it, but um, it does have some helpful lessons in there. And it is more of an adult video as well. So those are my thoughts for the week.